Podcast. We're here for round one with the Red Green Monster stack here. Um, our opponents have to play. Um, this seems like a pretty fine hand for us here. We've got one drop into two drop and then three ch or turn three shaman if we want it. So we will keep this hand. Opponent leaves off the mountain. Swift Spear, so we could be able to against like the mono red deck. They do come out pretty hard, pretty fast a lot of the time, so. So we might want to be a little bit leery of. Um, so maybe we'll off. Still with our elf. Like these are the types of matchups where you board in like the Magnus Rays and the Arc Lightnings as well. Um, just thinking ahead to like sideboarding. Uh, I've got a feeling we'll probably see some form of like two drop or something ridiculous here. Uh, so he's going to tighten strength. Would be my guess. Maybe he was looking for like Dragon Mantle. He's going to have the Scry. I was wondering if maybe he kept like a one land hand if he is mono red. And he's just looking for the second land. It's a good possibility. Which could be good for us. It makes the lightning strike up much stronger this turn. Yeah, so we missed the land. Uh, we could also Crater's Closet to keep mana up and accessible. feel like going for a good two for one like I don't even want to attack the mystic in case he finds his way around it um, but being able to try and lightning strike if he does go like enchantment or hunt the land with like a, a dragon mantle I mean like I feel like there's a lot of things that keeping lightning strike up for is probably just better um, crusaders fine Strike. That's what the hold up here is. Draw wooded foothills. So, I actually think this turn have more interest since he's missing lands and whatnot to cast wooded foothills, fetch up a mountain, creators claws this and cast air to the wild so that next turn I can follow it up with shaman the great hunt. I could also just scry. Um, I think that's probably better though. So we'll search up a mountain here. And then this creator's claws here. Missing these lands are pretty brutal. I think it's a 1 1 out of the deal. Okay. 
it's really good when you're playing like not necessarily against an aggressive deck, but when you're wanting to be the aggressor and try and start pushing tempo in your favor, if you like to get to casting two spells as quickly, like in a single turn as quickly as possible. Um, so doing that, doing so on turn three is fine. Um, so we still get a card out of his hand plus the soldier if we block with air, and we don't really lose a ton. Um, So like I'll take uh, a Titan Strength out of his hand if that's his plan here. So that's pretty good. I think I'd actually rather keep the uh, the heir to the wilds here, so we'll just we'll pass the turn, and we'll actually end up blocking with the elvish mystic, and then before damage flashing the green saber here. Mm. Yeah, and if you guys are going to give him first strike, that's fine. We'll take three. Two cards. I think we can start pushing some damage here. So if we start going blank after these two cards, we can start drawing as well. He has to start thinking a little bit defensively. Get some out of steering blood range. He's drawn his lands and now he has two cards that are gas in his hand. Um, but the most, I mean, like double Titan Strength doesn't kill us. Um, I mean, I, don't, I can't think of really a combination of cards that, that do 10 damage from this situation. So, like, he would have made it to where we can't block regardless. He's got a 3-4 for the turn, a 2-3 in reality. This last card... Go to bed, where are you going? My puppy's going one day. Where are you going? Come here, buddy. Go 
Dakota, good boy. Um, so Titan strength here cuts us to two. I can't draw cards because this will cost double green, which we just don't have. So based off me tapping mana, I don't think this other card is searing blood either. So if I attack with both and play both of these creatures, he's showing that he doesn't have burn to burn one of them out. Mr. I could draw a card though to be okay. So what we'll do is we'll just attack the shaman. Fifteen on the board, so he has to start thinking of playing defensively. I feel. Even if he hammer hands again, I have two blockers. Attacking with both there. So I feel like we'd still block and just to make sure he doesn't have like some weird trick or something, like I'm fine blocking there. And if he does go searing blood. Yeah. Those are the right blocks, definitely, here. I didn't really think of Rouse the Mob, um, but nonetheless, one is better than zero. Um, so again, you, I, right at the start of the match mentioned, these are the games that you want. Um, things like Arc Lightning, and also Magma Spray is quite good in the matchup as well. Um, Barrage of Boulders is fine, but I feel like these four, like, is going two and two split on these, like, uh, with him on the play, it may even honestly be better to go three and two there, um, the Ash Cloud Phoenixes, you are much more in a tendency to, like, wanting to block in this matchup than anything, to where having the four one that does recur itself still isn't quite where you want to be at, in my opinion, also when you're on the, um, the draw, Rabble Master is not quite as good. I'm still going to keep in some number of copies there, so we're going to actually cut one, and I'm actually going to go down a Crater's Claw as well. I mean, it's good in the early game if you have, like, two mana to burn a one drop or whatever, um, but we're not looking forward to, like, close out the game so we don't consistently want to see all, like, three copies or whatever. Um, so this still gives us a pretty good amount of burn, good amount of threats that we can close out the game with when that time comes. We are back here to game two. I have a crazy feeling the red deck wants to play first. This game's fine though, because we can like burn out his early creature with an art lightning. He's morganing, and we're on the draw. So I mean, if we hit like a two drop creature of any variety, um, quite happy with this hand.
we don't have the two more, so the fact that we get another land, which is exactly what we kind of don't want to see, but I actually hate the scry lands, they come in handy when we can put another one down like that, so I feel the odds are a little more in our favor not to draw a land now, um, I mean, six of them we've seen are put away, and the 24, um, so we're a quarter of the way through on the eight cards deep. Hoping we have a way to, even if it's just Arc Lightning, Arc Lightning is dying out of existence, because that's a little worrisome. I mean, if you're stuck on one land again, it's good. But it is. I don't know two drop, but if he does play another creature, we at least have Magma Spray into um, Arc Lightning. I guess we should have gotten a little paralysis there. Whoops. More lands, huh? Probably just magma spray it now, actually. Uh, this way, if he draws like a land and goes two one drops, we can just like arc lightning and both away and get way way ahead here. <coughs> and if not, we can go into like fanatic and start kind of going to beat town. So looks like we got something coming this way. Clan Crusader. So this is actually a turn I want to Ravel Master, since he would, unless he has Crowd's Favor, which if he does, I'm happy to have him use them because of Crown Crusader. That way we can just untap Arc Lightning away his board and get in with the Ravel Master as well. As long as he doesn't have any. All the dragon mantles. I would have to think he wants to play some other form of spell here. I still think we're just on the Arc Lightning plan. Even if he targets this guy for whatever reason, like it's not going to make him bigger or anything like that, it's going to clear his board, make him expel a card just to maybe get a 1-1. One, one. While he's doing his thoughts on that line, I must say I really, really like the Ugin's Fate Pack. Uh, arc lightning, so I think those are really, really, really cool art. Maybe Titan Strengths it? It's actually not so bad, I guess. We'd have to do as a Curling Crusader, though, I feel. Yeah, so we'll cast that. We'll save his guys, but it'll give him one more 1 1. I'm slightly reluctant he does have the crowd's favor still, which would get my Goblin Ramble Master, and I just don't trust that, especially when I can have a really good line of like double Fanatic of Xenoghost next turn, 
Um, because the first one hates, you're really going to be feeling the pain for it, I feel. So, our opponent knows that we're respecting crowd favor, so he may go in for Seder Hoplite just to keep pushing damage this turn and keep his soldier back to be like, hey, if I have this card, you lose your Goblin Goblin Master over it. Um, which is still fine. Like, being able to double Fanatic next turn, I feel, is just so strong. Nope, he's going for the aggro line. Four cards. If he doesn't give this one haste, I may just play the Air of the Wilds. So he gives this, yeah, he gives it the counter. Now we've got like a huge board. Um, like I can't think of. You make it like hammer hand again on a Seder Hoplite, which is fine. Make it to where my Heir to the Wilds can't block. But I don't even think that's really where our opponent wants to be here. I'm just gonna play a bunch of dudes here. It's Hammerhand that's pretty good here. Hammerhand the Crowing Crusader. Fanatic can't, or Air of the Wilds can't block. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not enough to kill us though, so he has to keep some things back on defense so he doesn't just die. I think Fanatic would be it, so I could, I'd have to trade to something to not take a huge amount of damage. Kind of has one card. I don't trust. Like I don't think it's gonna be something that's gonna like make another dude that's like just outright kill us. So if I just attack with everything and then Boon Seer my fanatic is in, I guess I don't think we can lose. And that way we trample for 7, get him for 11. We can't deal 3 based off that board to us. And that'll be the match. So 2 over mono red. Um, Dick's got some game, that's for sure. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back here soon for round 2.